luck is coming my way wherever I go Hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way Pushing in basic tree shapes So just bend the brush Bend the brush Make those little leaves and branches just pop right out at you There he comes these little son of a guns hide in your brush and you just have to push them out. This is your world, your creation. Just outside of Orlando in Gotha, Florida, at the Woodlawn Memorial Park, you will find the final resting place of television painter, television artist, Bob Ross. He died July 4th, 1995. Known for his happy tree painting techniques and his calm, relaxing voice, and let's be quite honest, his hair, which is funny because doing research on Bob Ross's life, it turns out he hated his hair. But by the time he became the famous artist he was, everybody knew him by his hair. It was one of his trademark images. And he couldn't change it. For years, Bob Ross had a television show on PBS called The Joy of Painting, and that is how he pretty much rose to fame. He became a household name in the art community. After his death, as with any artist, his career really took off. There are so many beautiful, happy trees here at Bob Ross's final resting place. I think he would have been proud. Most of his paintings were completely void of human beings, no sign of human life, mostly trees. If he did, however, paint a cabin, usually they were without chimneys because that symbolized people. Before Bob Ross was a painter, he was actually an Air Force Master Sergeant, which means he was one of those people that would yell at you, yell at the troops to get them to do things. Give me push-ups, go clean the bathrooms something, latrines, I don't know what they called it, but isn't that crazy? Now everybody knows Bob Ross as the painter, especially the joy of painting, but one of Bob's truest passions was animals. And he wanted to have a TV show called Bob's World where he introduced his viewers to different animals. Now he did this in a way during his TV show on PBS. He would often bring little animals and say, hey, look at this guy, introduce them. Well, there was one in particular that had a reoccurring role and that was Peabod, a little squirrel that lived inside his pocket. Some of the crazy things that Bob Ross would say that have become fan favorites, happy accidents if you will, weren't accidents at all. And in fact, he would often stay up night rehearsing things to say. Everything was meticulously planned. Now what was really interesting about this, his voice, the way he talked, his mannerism, all became part of this ASMR movement where people would listen to him to relax, often to fall asleep. Other piece of trivia, if you will, interesting weird fact. God damn it, I lost it. Because there's, there's, there's a piece that there's, there's something that goes along with that that like that's actually kind of amusing. Um, people would often come up to Bob Ross and say, don't take this the wrong way, but every time I watch you, I fall asleep. And he loved that. So, I was gonna say that. I'm talking too much. I think he just did. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.